Okay, Mike, why don't you open in prayer? Father, we just thank you and we worship you. We praise you. We glorify your holy name. We thank you for the great grace that you've given us and what you're going to do tonight and then through your word, Lord. Anoint your servant, Lord, and let his words be your words. And Father, let us receive and grow and change, Lord God, that we might be of use for your kingdom. And Lord, we just lift Pastor up and ask you to just touch him, speak to him during this time that he's down, Lord God, and speak clearly to him. Give him a fresh vision, God, whatever your desire is for right at this time for this body. And we thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, Jim, Jim, do you want to take up the uh, offering bound before or after? Um, we can do it either way. Do it after. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> I don't care. Thank you, Jesus. I'll have more interest in it. <laughs> okay. Um, can everybody hear me? Yes. Um, good. Yeah. Be sure to let me know. Um, I enjoy teaching. And um, what we are going to do tonight. Well, part of part of what I enjoy teaching about is I want I like people to be interactive. If you've got questions about anything I say, I want you to speak up. Um, because if there is a question that you have and it goes unanswered, how are you then to grow by then what is being said, right? So I encourage you, anytime if you got any questions, you know, feel free to raise your hand, we'll stop, we'll answer the questions, and you know, that's, that's the way I like it. I want people to walk away with um, uh, something more than that they came in with, and not walk away with something felt like, um, they missed something. I want people to be filled. Okay. Uh, and what we are going to talk about tonight is something dear to my heart, and that is uh, uh, having um, been sent back by God from heaven after I died, is intimacy with God. Amen. <laughs> And so, God had a plan from the beginning for intimacy in stages. And I'm going to walk you through those stages till we get to the intimacy we have with God through Christ Jesus. Right. Okay. Okay, we know in, in, in the beginning God created Adam and Eve. And we know that the scripture says that, that God walked with Adam in the garden, in the cool of the day, right? Yes. Okay. So we have a picture then of Adam and then God beside him. That's important. Beside him and they're walking together. And then, of course, the... Uh, hello, come on in. My name's Don. You can Hi. call me Grandpa Don. Hey, Don. Okay. I'm David. Hi, David. Bless you, brother. Bless you. Come on in. Welcome. Glad you made it. Well, our father told me to come over here. I live over on the corner. Well, praise God. He even put it on the sign. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Well... What, what, what were the hours going Did you to? fall on your face? Yes, I did. Praise God! <laughs> I, got, I got six stitches. Oh, I'm sorry. But last night, though, 
in the hospital, I had a neck injury because I hit my mm. neck so hard I fell flat like as stiff as a board right on my linoleum oh, floor. Lord bless him. Uh, he he had a, I had a neck injury, I had a shoulder injury, and um, I woke up this morning, no neck injury, Hallelujah. <laughs> no shoulder injury. Great job. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> For my God shall uh, do do abundantly above all that you have. Oh, ask. amen, brother. Shout it. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> uh, um, I like people to be interactive. Yes. This, this, is, this, 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 this is teaching. This is not preaching. They're completely different. Things. Amen. Amen. I knew why the Lord teaching, asked me to come te here. Te Preaching is, I'm talking at you. Teaching is you are interacting with me. I want you to see what's in this pack. This is evidence. Yeah? I confess. I'm guilty of murder. I confess. I'm guilty of murder! I betrayed him! There's the 30 pieces of silver to prove it. And the nails that they put in his hand. I didn't wear it, but there was a sign that they put above his cross. I was going to wear it around my neck. It said, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. He's been showing me these things all week. I confess to you that he has forgiven me. And I'm a child of the king. Are you a child of the king? Amen. 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 Are we children of the king? Um, yeah. We're the church. <clears throat> Thank you, brother. We're just inside this building that they call a church. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> this is, and we're, we're going to address that, too. The, 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 the building versus the church. Because it, all, because it all has to do with intimacy. Amen. Okay. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, start uh, with you in a minute so you can get caught up. Um, I'm going to address intimacy. But gonna, it's God's plan for intimacy that he started from the beginning and through the end through Christ Jesus. Amen. Okay. I've been now, saying it too. Uh, so I asked, so we have, we have, first we have a picture of Adam walking through, walking in the garden in the cool of the day. So that's God. That's Adam with God walking beside him. Uh huh. Okay. And there and they are communicating with each other. Adam was alive at okay. that moment. And then of course we also have Enoch who walked with God and God took him. Uh huh. Yes. And then when we have the uh, Noah, and God talked to him. God, well, we know what happened there. And then uh, we also know that uh, once they were in the ark, that God shut the door. Uh -huh. And then we know that Abraham talked with God face to face as God speaks to a man. Uh -huh. notice, notice in all these things that God is external. There's a plan building here. <laughs> God's got a plan. You got it. Okay. Uh, there ain't nothing random about God. Everything that happens to you isn't coincidence. Amen. And then the next thing we see is in Genesis 19.27 is he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. So now, instead of God beside one person, now we have God beside a, a people. And a line, a lineage. Yes. <laughs> So God's moving out. Then, he inst 
instructions for God gave Moses to build a tabernacle so that God could come and dwell in the Ark of the Covenant in the uh, Holy of Holies. Remember, has anybody, uh, um, my Bible has a picture, I don't know if your Bible has pi a picture uh, of uh, what that entire thing looked like. The, of the tribes uh, when they were no, set the, up. That, that, that and the tent, the tent. Well, first of all, the, the tent that surrounded uh, the, the tabernacle and then, and, and then you got the um, the altar? Uh, um, no, not, not yet. Um, there's, there are things that are external to the temple, you know, where they sacrifice the bulls. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, then, and then once you get inside the temple, the very first place was the um, most holy place. The Holy of Holies. No. No? No, that's the, what, the, the most, most holy, holy place, place, and then the holy of holies, and inside. inside, and then inside the most holy place, that is where a a priest, one priest, would go in, and he would offer sacrifice, uh, not sacrifices. He would burn incense. Smell of sweet yeah, savor, and, 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 and yes, and there, and there, and there, and then, um, but if you examine and look at the furniture that you know the the the, the altar of in it, incense, and if you look at it, it forms a cross, exactly, which gives us a picture you know, of. Uh, uh, are you people? Um, um, used to the term or heard the term types or shadows yes. oh I am <laughs> well um, types or shadows are just simply symbols uh -huh. of things to come yeah everything and the, in the Bible and the, the Old it's Testament like is full of them as well as the book, book of Revelations actually everything in the Old Testament and, and that's what I said. Yeah. And so, uh, and, and so that's where we get the first picture of the cross is inside there. And then um, behind, okay, then we get the curtain. The veil. The veil. Yeah. Remember that name, the veil. Because mm -hmm. that. And then behind, and actually, if uh, that you do you know that the, the, that that. Veil was actually six feet thick. Yeah, if you read the notes at the bottom and stuff, it's six feet thick. Why? So you couldn't accidentally fall into the veil and fall into the holy of holies. Can't get there by because it, <laughs> because if you fell into the holy of holies through some thin curtain, well. <laughs> Well, well, we know, well, we know, we know that uh, that priests who went into the holy of holies once a year, that if they weren't right with God, that um, uh, something was tied to their ankle, and if they dropped dead, then um, is this news to some of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they weren't right with God when they went in there, then they dropped dead, and the the, the other priests who were in the, uh, in the in the most holy place would drag them out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why that um, when some it came each priest turned to go once a year into there. Believe me, they made sure they were right with God, examining their consciences, examining every possible thing that, and, and, and dealing with it, and you know, and repenting. That's what this whole week is all about. And 
you know, and, and, and that's the only way they could survive going in and coming out of the most holy place. Because you're coming in, you go into the most holy place, you are coming into the contact of, of the holiness of God. Yeah. That, that was more powerful than, than anywhere else outside, <laughs> symbolically, outside. And that's the way God made it. Okay. And then, of course, uh, as, year, years, as years went by, we know that David wanted to build God a house, and he couldn't because he had blood on his hands. Uh -huh. And so as his Sol God selected his son Solomon to build the house. So, Sol so, so his son Solomon built, built the house, and, um, of course, we know that after the house was prayed or built, um, then we know that Solomon did that prayer of dedication. And then, um, for example, in, if you look, want, want to look it up yourself, uh, 2 Chronicles 5.14. That is where we're going to, where we read that uh, after he prayed, then that's where the, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And because the glory of the Lord filled the temple uh, so powerfully, it says the priest could not minister. And that has. Uh, real, real significance uh, to me because I have been in that. What, very what happens when the glory of the Lord gets on you and in you? Uh, we're going we're to talk, talk uh, about that. Yeah, um, but because that, because that, that that's, 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 that's real kind of, hard to minister. That, <laughs> <laughs> I was having the same same thing with um, on Tuesday, uh, and John heard it, and the people kept jumping ahead. <laughs> uh, but we're going to get there. But bless you, brother. Um, let's see, where was I? Shekinah glory. glory. Shekinah glory. Um, oh, yes. Let's see, where's Dora? So she's not here. I want to tell you that about a month ago, as Doris was up here singing, you know what? And um, it was it was a it was a one that just a song that just literally touched the heart of God. And I saw. All of a sudden, this entire sanctuary filled with the light of the glory of God. Hallelujah. I could not, I could not see the pews, could not see the people, could not see anything. I just saw the brilliance of the glory of God. And at that time, I, I, I could not sing anymore. <laughs> Just like the priest could not minister anymore. Mm -hmm. my, my mouth was shut and you just remain frozen. It's that amazing. I have been <laughs> in, a, in a number of situations like that. This was the most recent. Um, the, and the reason I want to bring that, bring that up is, is because this deals with into, intimacy and You know, as you know, and here we so so here we have the kind of glory of God in the temple, mm -hmm. and um, everything went on as usual. That's what I'm talking about. Is 
I want to ask this question to each of you. Do not raise your hands, of course. I mean, really, how sensitive are you to the Holy Spirit? Uh, more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. I mean, you, know, you can just, you know, believe the Holy Spirit, believe in the Holy Spirit's moving, uh, agree with the pastor when he says the Holy Spirit's moving, but when he says that, what do you feel? You know, when he says kind of those kinds of things, I I hear a lot of agreement. I, I get the hair standing on the back but, of my neck. And, but really, are you sensitive to the Holy Spirit where you can actually feel his movement? If not, you can get that way. That is what we're going to do tonight. That's what. That's the purpose of tonight. Is I'm going to show you how. And that's part of what part of why we're going to focus on the holy of holies and the most holy place, because even though the temple uh, was built, and even though the Holy of Holies and the Most Holy Place is not mentioned, they are still there. Yeah. Not only were they still there in um, Solomon's time, they're still here in our time spiritually. Yeah. Every bit. Mm -hmm. yep. Remember, back then, when they, you know, erected those things, those were just symbols. But now we have the actual reality the, of, the, of the spiritual uh, holy, uh, most holy place and holy of holies. And these are, these are steps of intimacy towards God. Because out, okay, if 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 you remember your Old Testament readings, where were the where were the people when they praised the Lord? Does anybody remember? There's a congregation uh, location. Uh, uh, the outer outer court. Yes. So they were at so so they they were they were outside the 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 temple which was the tabernacle which was the holy of holies and most holy place the people were outside we need to key in on that because all the worship and praise. It would happen like outside. All the stuff going on outside. And yeah. Inside. All the worship and praise happened in the outer court. In the, the park. outer <laughs> court. What's changed now? Nothing. To get to that the worship and Jesus remember Jesus inhabits the praises of his people. Yes. Mm -hmm. But for for you personally, you know, in Revelations I, I have it written. Um, twenty one three or something like that. It says like the tabernacle of God is with men. We have, and 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 and, 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 and with it, uh, you, you can you can look that up and see that that was the right one. And um, let, me, let me go to. I also want to go to Hebrews. If you if you want to turn there, we're going to spend some time on Hebrews, 
chapter, I think it's 10. Is that, is that correct, John? For Saint Matthew. Well, we were in uh, 12 was where we were then. Okay, 12. Because now we're starting to deal with what's happened and what we have through Christ Jesus. Yeah, now, now, that the, now that the cross has happened. Oh, he was, oh, oh, oh here I am. Oh, no, um, it's, he, it's Hebrews 10 is where I want to go. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's start in verse 11. Is everybody there? Yes. yes. Okay. And every high priest, that means all of us, right? Yeah. yeah. Ministering daily and offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. No, because Christ has took them away for us, right? Right. 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 Um, but we pray daily. Yes. We yes. worship daily. Yes. And where, do, where does the praying and the worshiping occur? In the outer court. Okay. But this man, after he had offered the sacrifice of sins forever, sat down at the right hand of God. Where's the kingdom of God? Right here. Within you? Right there. John 3, wherever, yeah, it's wherever I'm standing. <laughs> That's what I tell people. And God is wherever I'm standing. I just... Because we have what? Christ... You just told me that today. <laughs> because we have Christ in us. Yes. The hope of glory. Yes. yes. Amen. And, uh, let's see. With the, let's see, 13, from that time waiting, oh, I have the New King James Version, by the way, okay? So a couple of the words are going to be different. From, from that time waiting, his, till his enemies are made his footstool, for by one offering himself, he has perfected forever those who are being sanctified. He has made them all perfect. Oh yes, this is another thing. It's, you know, well, there are there are several occasions inside inside the Word of the Lord where it talks about us being perfected, and and, and since we. And where does our perfection come? It's, we've been washed by the blood of Jesus, and He has spiritually, John 17, 21, made us as, he, as, as one with, as He is one with the Father, He has made us one with Himself. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's also and so, that, uh, so, so as, that, as spiritually, uh, as we are in Him, it's our, it's our spirits, I'm not talking about our physical bodies, because remember, Paul struggled with that in Romans 6, 7, until he finally got the revelations in 8, that there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk out of the flesh, flesh and after the spirit. spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ yeah. Jesus says, Set not the law of sin and death. Amen. Thank you. Okay. So, in Christ Jesus, our spirits, in union with Him, has no sin. Right. Our spirits. <clears throat> so. That's where we're living. Yes. Men. Yes. Instead of dead men walking. Right. Um, yes, and that is also why we are saints and and not sinners saved by grace. Amen. At the at, at the time of 
salvation. You're a, you're a sinner saved by grace. After salvation, you're a saint. Because if, you, if there was sin in you, and you are in Christ, there would be sin in Christ. But there's an alien living inside us. <laughs> we call it the natural man. That's in our that's that's in our that's in our flesh. Yeah. And I'm talking about entirely talk about what is going on in the spiritual realm now. Yep. Okay. okay. Going on, he says, but the Holy Spirit witnesses to us for after he had said before. This is the covenant that I will make with them that after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and their minds, I will write them. Then he adds, their sins and their lawless deeds I remember no more. They're not even in, remember, they're not even in his consciousness. You wonder how, how, can, how can God forget? Well, because he's God, he can make himself forget. <laughs> There's nothing impossible with God. And, 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 you know, and praise God that he can make himself forget our sin. Yes. Which, was, was, which anyway was washed by, away by the blood of Jesus. Yeah, I've had kind of a problem with that between me and my wife. You know, Every time I point something out to her, she starts pulling up this laundry list of stuff that she's uh, still holding against me, so to speak. Yes. We had to have a discussion about that last week. Well, we started going on Forgiveness. Down, down, down this. Yeah, yes, because that is not in line with God's Word. Okay, let's see there. There's, um, since uh, since they are forgiven by Christ uh, and, 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 and by God, bringing up anything in the past is not of God, it's of the flesh. Mm -hmm. And of the devil. Is that correct? He says God is never no, he's hanging he's around and beating you up. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Now, now we're starting to get closer to the intimacy part. Uh -huh. Then he add. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. Um, here we are. We've arrived in verse nineteen. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh this is, this is really a key scripture here Amen. because what happened on the cross yeah. right it, and it split from top yep. to bottom. Yep. yep. And all, what also happened, John? There was an earthquake. Yep. There was an earthquake. Some graves opened up. Why do you suppose there was an earthquake? Anybody but John. <laughs> <laughs> because even the very foundations of the earth were shaken. Well, that may, that may, that may be okay. Right now we're dealing with the split. Okay, it's it's just split. The earthquake probably had something to do with them. Once it split, the set the partitions separating. Uh -huh. Now separated. Now we have access into the holy of holies. Remember, before, we were just priests. 
That is right. In the um, most holy place, right? Mm -hmm. Offering incense. Now, as priests unto our God, we have access by the blood of Jesus into the Holy of Holies. And that is for every one of us. And that, and that, that, that is why in, a, in our churches that same cloud, that same glory cloud, that Shekinah glory can come down upon all of us. Mm -hmm. And touch every single one of us. Had it not been for the blood of Jesus, that glory cloud might have killed us. Like it did, like it did uh, the priests who were, went in once a year and were unworthy. Okay, but, and having a high priest over the house, let's see. And the high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. What did the blood of bull? Uh, what could not the blood of bulls do? Couldn't cleanse our sins. Couldn't uh, provide us with forgiveness. Let me, uh, no, 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 no. Couldn't be a propitiation for them. No, the blood, the blood of bulls were really incapable of washing away our sins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, remember, at the time they were doing it, it was just a symbol of things to come. Uh -huh. But now we have the things to come. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> we have it. <laughs> they only have the symbol. We have the actuality. Yeah. And we have it by faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing, hearing by the word, word of God. God. <coughs> um, and so in the, you know, and remember, in the Old Testament, after after uh, the high the high priest, he would just lay, lay his hands on on the, the sheep or the goat, and, would, and um, supposedly all the sins of the, the Israelites uh, got transferred onto that thing, and then they sent it out to the desert to die. The scapegoat. This, yeah, the, the scapegoat, and of course uh, Jesus became. Our scapegoat, yeah. and he did. He went out to die, but praise God! Three days later, he arose. And the Bible says, "As he rose, we all rose with him." Yeah. Which is our so, strongest evidence. So let us let us hold fast the confession of hope without wavering for he who has promised is faithful now now this the, 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 having all of the above verse 24 is the result of all the above and let us consider Consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a matter of some is, but exhorting one another in so much the day as you see the day approaching. Uh, but I want to. Do you see the day approaching? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I do. But uh, again. 
when you look at the result. First of all, to have the result, there it re requires that you have that right relationship with Jesus before you go out. Well, and can consider one another in order not to just relationship. You got to be related to Jesus by adoption. And that's all part of it. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna. So, so with, with all with all with all that understanding, I want to get back to verse nineteen. The boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Uh, think, think once again of that picture of the, the, the there's, there's the temple and it, the outer court and the and then then you have the tabernacle and which it contained the holy the most holy place and the holiest place. On Sundays, we, we come. We come an hour before service starts, and um, what is that purpose? Preparation. To pray. Where is prayer done? The outer court. In the outer court. Yes, the out prayer is done in the outer court. Where is praise done? The outer court. Praise is done in the outer court. Spiritually, when you're on your knees in front of the pews, and you're praising and work, and, and and doing your own worshiping. You're in the outer court. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Okay. You're not in the most holy place or the holy of holies. The the Bible makes it very clear where the people are at. Okay. Remember, we are talking about the symbol, and now we're talking about which pointed to the spiritual. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, let's address what we are doing in the outer court. On our knees, praying, we're, we're, and, we're, and, and, and worshiping God. And who's doing all the talking? We yes. are. We are. Mm. When you when you read the scriptures about the priest. Inside the holy, the, the most holy place, has anybody ever read in the scriptures that the priest does any praying or worshiping God or talking? Isn't that where they sacrifice things? No. no. That goes on, that happens in the other quarter. No, he, he goes in there to offer this to, uh, to for for the incense. In fact, that let oh. let's let's look at um, Luke chapter one, which I should have to read this morning.
Okay, let's go to verse 10. And the, no, let's go to 9. Uh, no, 8. So it was that while he was serving as priest, let's talk about Ze Zachariah, everybody remembers? So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to what? Burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Did he go in there to pray? No. no. Did he go in there to worship? No. He went there for one thing, to burn incense. Verse 10, and the whole multitude of the people was praying, what's the next word? Outside. Outside. Outside at the hour of incense. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him and was standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Okay, so again, here we are in the New Testament, and, a verif and it, here's another verification that the the people are on the, where the where the worship and praise are going, and the praying is going on is in the outside, in the outer court. And I will start again in, the, in, the, in here on, on on Sundays now. Though, though we have this building that is our uh, this, this sanctuary, but remember, we are the, the temple of the Holy Ghost, right? Right. Right. So, okay. I get a question. How, how about the washing uh, of feet and so forth? Did the priests have to wash their feet before they went into there in the most holy place? Yeah. <clears throat> but, but, but remember with the uh, the blood of Christ we have been purified uh. and so uh, um, we don't need we don't really need to get into the feet washing thing <laughs> well it has to do with the, your gospel of peace that you're supposed to have your feet shod with. And every place where you set your foot, God gives into your hand because that's your place. That's this is my spot. Right. I'm standing. Okay. Okay. Did you get your, Did you wash your feet before you came here? No. But I just got that picture in my head. I wanted to confirm that it was God telling me to do that. You know, to think about that. Well, no, the step, well, the steps of a righteous man in order to God, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, now, remember the subject. The subject is intimacy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. We know that the praise and the worship goes on the outer court. Now. You're all priests, you have access mm -hmm. to the Holy of Holies mm -hmm. and the most holy place. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, for example, on Sunday, <coughs> get behind the pew, you do, you know, before, uh, you know, before the service starts, um, and you, you, you say every everything you can uh, in regards to you know pray, all the praying you do, and then and then you do all the wor pri private worshiping you you do, um, all of which takes place where again? The outer court. The outer court. And then, um, well, you can include, you know. Uh, Speaking in tongues in that. Okay. And then, once you're done talking, you 
Where do you go? Everybody think about it. Listening place. Do you? Really? That's not what I see on Sunday. When people are done talking, I see people get up. No, no, no. I mean, before service. Oh. Yeah. When you're done praying? Yeah. No, we were talking, yeah, we were talking about... Then you, get, then you praise, right? Yeah. Yeah. All of which takes place where? Out of court. Out of court. And the subject is intimacy. And intimacy takes place... When do you get into inner court, then? Why is, that, why is that considered like the outer court? Yeah, okay. The, the, um, the, the, the outer court is where the praise and the worship and the, now and speak. Praying. Yeah, and then all, all the praying okay. and all of that is us speaking. Right, okay. That's the outer court? Yes, okay. outer court is all the things that we say that comes out our mouth. That one is out, out or Yeah, court. outer court, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where is the place that we hear from God? The inner court. Yes. The inner court. Or the or the or the Holy Yes. Yes. You're done talking. Now you want to hear from God. And you have a choice that when you're done talking, uh, you can either get up, like, the, you know, the, there's the multitude out there doing it. Remember in the Old Testament? It said the multitude did, did the multitude go into the most holy place. No. 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 That was only the priests. Right. And but today we are all priests. Kings and priests. Kings and priests unto our God. Um, Revelations, I think it's 21 3. Did somebody check whether that was right or not? Um, it's, it's something like that. And so because we are all priests. We do have access to the most holy place. So when we're done praying and we want to hear from God, and remember, in the, 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 the symbol in the Old Testament where, where, where God's residence was, was where? The, the most of, the, the, the Holy of Holies. The Holy of Holies. Yeah. But, but um, which, 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 which we know now that the veil, it says, was his flesh. Which has the, and we also, you know, on the cross it was ripped from top to bottom. So that through Jesus we have access. Do we take it? Well, we've all got mental telepathy, so to speak, well, speak well, well, that's, when we listen to him and hear him. Well, that's what I'm talking about. On Sundays, after we, we are, we're on our knees, we, work, we, 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 put, we do all the praying, we do all the worshiping, we do, we do all the tongue speaking, which occurs again where? Out of court. Out of court. What do we individually choose to do then? Do we choose to stay in the outer court? 
or do we go in, stay, in, go into the most holy place to listen? Yes. Because yes. it's in the most holy place where you can hear from God. Because, 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 because the veil has been ripped. Yes. Most of us are afraid to hear God. Why? Because it's a voice in our head, and, and if we go to a psychiatrist and tell him we're listening to God, he'll call us crazy. So? <laughs> we justify not listening to God because of that. Yeah, could be. Could be. <laughs> and... We don't test whether or not the words that are going through our head oh, are actually right. from God or not. Yeah, there you go. That could be true too. And we don't know the difference between living human beings and all those dead people out there walking because of it. This, this, and, and, and this is where I'm going. Uh, the direction that I'm going is I, I'm. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> That's why I came over here. Okay. There. Now, so so in, so so in the moment, I say, okay, uh, because now, th this is how I I have learned to distinguish the difference. It's usually pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all of those ignorant, hateful, spiteful folks that walk around. Being ignorant and, and not loving anybody. So that's a, how. So how do you determine the difference between the voice in your the religious voice in your head, using scriptures, and actually God speaking? All right. Number one, when you hear God in your voice, you confirm it with somebody you know. You say, "I hear God saying to me that." And you write it down. That's why we've got scriptures in the first place. They wrote it down. What if you by yourself? Okay. Then you have to go to your library or whatever place you have another bunch of books. You grab a random book. You open it up. You point to a page without looking. And then you write that down. Yeah. Then, after you've done that, just like Gideon, you put out a second fleece. You go to another book. It could be a cookbook, but you point to that and let God bring those words to life, just like he brings the words to life in that Bible that you're reading. You, you really go through all that? If I'm in doubt of losing my mind, of course I do! Because there's no such thing as a random thing with God. There is, a, be there is a better way. Yeah. Okay. Point it out to me and I'll believe you. I spend about four hours a day, as soon as the alarm clock goes off, <clears throat> slide out of bed, on my knees, say all, like, I'm in the outer court. You pray. I say I say all the prayers, everything I can think of. And then when I run out of that, you know, I'm, well, no, I start off with worship. So get get God's attention. Yeah. Um, then pray everything I can think I, I everything I can think of. Then I start speaking in tongues. Any and and I don't. I don't time that. I just. I just do it, and it just. It lasts as long as it lasts. Usually, it's about a half an hour. Uh huh. Okay. And it's. I'm it's... still on the outer court. Then, once I've said every possible thing that I can think of that can come out of my brain, then I focus. Solely on God, I'm fixed. In, at that time, there is no shadow of turning. Every good and perfect gift. 
and from the Father. And, Father of lights within and we, and we know people. that God is light. Okay. And so if you want, so I get the, so for, for me, well, um, have, having been to heaven and seen the light of God in heaven, uh -huh. but, but uh, you don't necessarily have to see that if you just imagine, you know, you could even imagine, and, so, and it's okay with God, even if you just imagine, you know, a, a being, but of light, because remember, Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, he parted his flesh, just like the temple, or, you know, the veil was ripped in two, and that was a symbol of his flesh. Well, on the Mount of Transfiguration, he did the same thing. He barred his flesh, and what did the apostles see? Light. Light. So in my mind, I'm saying, if you just imagine the, the most brilliant light that your mind can uh, imagine and remain solely and completely fixed on that. Now there's a process here. While you're doing that, Thoughts will pop into your head. Mm -hmm. The purpose of this is when a thought pops into my head, I write it down. Exactly. Over time, as I've done this, you know, day after day after day, year after year after you, year. You learn what his voice sounds like. You, very, yeah, you learn to distinguish the difference between what your voice is and what his voice, and what is. His voice is. And you, and you, because you're recording both. And you go back and you start reading it and you can verify this is right in line with scripture. Yeah, it's, it's mental this is, man. Not, not, <laughs> and not only with scripture but it matches the very character of God Himself. Yes. God is Yes, love. it does. And, and and that's when and and those things you can pick out when though when it when it matches up with His Word and His character. And and sometimes you just get so giddy when. <laughs> well, I, well, for, me, for, well, 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 for, well, well, for me, uh, uh, as I'm on my knees and doing, you know. Fix uh, the spirit of the Lord. Uh, I get so sensitive to the spirit of the Lord. Um, I literally shake. Yeah, and part of that is that joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yes. Yeah. So um, this is the so this is the so that's is the process here. That uh, how we are able to go from the outer court to the inner court where we are listening. Listening, but with fix, with a, with a fixation on him. And, um, yeah, and, and, and yes, each day I still struggle with, you know, my own thoughts, but you know, over time, they have got less and less and less, and I, and I hear more and more and more from God. It's training. And, and so, can I hear it from the voice of God? Oh, absolutely. Well, look, the, the Lord God has been telling me things, and I've been writing them down and, and uh, trying to figure out what he actually wants me to do. And, you, you know, throughout my life, I've just been living in such well, doubt uh, that, that he's actually talking to me. How about you? Uh, so, uh, let's see. Second Corinthians. Yeah. Do you have uh, doubts? Uh, John, re read Second Corinthians 7.14. I already know what it says. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians. It begins, If my people, 
who are called by my name. Oh, you're talking about Chronicles. Oh, see, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if my people which are called by my, my name, name will humble themselves and pray and seek my excuse, face. Excuse, Second Chronicles. Ex excuse me, I'm no. talking. Yeah. Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Never mind. It, yeah, it, it will humble themselves and pray. Notice, and I and I and I did this today. But of course, but I already knew this. But um, I, I looked it, I looked it up and I wrote it down here. The word pray, if, when you look it up in the Strong's, is, is one Hebrew word. And and when I look and when I I look in and I looked in Strong's, it just said for the definition of pray, it just said pray. <laughs> it, but it also uh, said intercession. Both words are, have the meaning that your mouth is moving. From the original pictographic Hebrew? Yeah. Yeah, I've got the original words um, okay. written in here. I can, That's I'm another not, thing that God did have me do. But, you know, if, uh -huh. you're, if you're curious, go look them up in the Strong's. Um, and then... Pray, and then it says, and. Because of the word pray, and, that means in addition to praying, there's something else you have to do. <coughs> that and is the word seek, which is a separate Hebrew word, which I looked up in Strong's today. And that word, uh, seek, um, the way it was described, uh, it, it, it implied that um, you are doing, it's like a verb where you are doing an action. You're passionately pursuing. Yes, that. yes. The face of God. Yeah, yes. Which is different from the word look for. <laughs> um, pray. Praying involves you speaking, passing, or I mean, uh, seeking involves God. I want, I want to see your, I want to see your face, God. I want to hear from you, because what, because in the symbolism of what it is, God's face. Where's his mouth? It's on his face. Okay. Yeah. So you so you so you're seeking to hear from God. Where does the outer court? Where does prayer go? The outer court. But but the other thing is that head symbol is for the first and, and the priority and the uh, uh, beginning. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think it means like the head, like without the the head, the, the body pictorial head. symbol oh. for the head is included in that word. Well, okay, the pictorial symbol has God has both uh, a mouth and ears, right? Uh huh. Okay. Can he can he hear you from the other court? <coughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. All time. But can we but, but listen when you, to but, 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 when, but when you, but when it says, seek his face, where does he want you to be? The inner court. The, the inner court. The most holy place. Yeah. And according to, as I said, according to all the descriptions of the inner court, every time a priest there... Nothing is ever mentioned about the priest saying anything. Just lighting that it's incense. The, it, the only thing that goes on in there, he's lighting the incense. And in, and in this particular case, why I, I brought us to Luke, is because now, 
it, well, not only does it show the Motu outside, but now, but now, um, uh, Zacharias is here. Of course, he's hearing from an angel, but, uh -huh. but uh, we, you know, we, we could uh, think of that as the angel of the Lord, which whom we know as Jesus, Jesus. Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. And so where the, the whole where Lord so that's spiritually. I mean, it doesn't require us bodily to move anywhere. Uh, spiritually, that's where we go to listen, to hear from him. Uh, back in Joshua, just before the Battle of Jericho, this uh, angel of the Lord came to him. Well, it wasn't the angel, it was the Lord himself. Because he told Joshua to take off your shoes for where you are standing is holy ground. So he, this, well, Jesus asked him to actually worship him, where the other angels that came to say, Abraham, uh, when he tried to bow down to him, see that you do it not. Yeah? Yeah. And point, your point is? Uh, it was another part of that intimacy. Well, uh, remember, God is sovereign. And, and the use that he takes to actually show himself to real people. Uh, you know, God, you know God, God is sovereign, and he can do that in individual cases. Uh -huh. But we are talking about uh, uh, a symbol that he has set up. Am, am, am I going over? Keep going, dude. This is fun. I'm talking about a symbol that he set up in the Old Testament, which points to the new of the gen of the general way that he wants us. This is how things are. Okay, I think I'm asking you to get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, and remember, we're talking about intimacy. Uh -huh. First, for, for, first we, we have spoken. The next point is. We go into listen. Okay. And so that's an example of what? What are you trying to make your point with? It's the next level. There's one more. Okay. The next level of intimacy is, okay, if, when we go into listen, we have a motive in our heart, yes? For the most part. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that motive. Going in to listen to hear from God. Nothing. We should go in to hear from God. But it's still a motive, right? Mm -hmm. We gotta know uh, we gotta understand that, you know, when he talks to us, it's important. Remember, we're dealing with intimacy. Yeah. Is the only kind of intimacy you know? is when there is communication. No, there's communion. For well, well, for example, intimacy with my wife doesn't necessarily involve talking. No. What's it involved? What's that? What's it involved? Okay, just... Uh, Laying with each other, just holding each other. Just being with. Yeah. Okay. Just just being with, and conversation isn't required. Right. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. That is where we're. That is the final point where we're headed. True intimacy. So uh, long end to want to. Uh, yeah, physical, you want your physicality. Yeah. Of yeah. Just just to be with God. So like you. Just for the purpose of just loving on him and him loving you. So like you said, Adam was with God, that's intimacy, he walked with God. And then, uh, um, but, but, remember, but remember, in that case, God was outside. Yeah. In our case, He's we now have God, God inside. Right. And, and of course, remember, in the Old Testament prophets, where the it says, the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. 
Well, now we have the Spirit of the Lord where? Yeah. In us. We have something greater than the Old Testament prophets. Well, because that, that because when the, when the when the when the when the when the when when the spirit of the Lord came up, upon them upon them, he wasn't in them, uh -huh. and it was only temporal uh, while he was speaking the word of the Lord. Right. Whereas now we have the spirit of the Lord in us. Twenty-four seven. Yes. And we can go to him. Any t t for intimacy, start, 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 starting with praise, worship, speaking in tongues, going into going into listening, which is good because I mean we need to hear from God because we've spoken. Now, now we set a time to hear. And this brings us back to actually the service is that is what I'm saying is is. Is we should we should spend as much time listening from God as we do speaking to God. If you really want to hear, learn to hear His voice. I don't disagree with that. Okay, uh, and then and then uh, let's move on to. Uh, my main point here of tonight. My main point. We've, okay. we've arrived. And that Take your is, time. I'll give you thirty and, seconds. And that is the, <laughs> and that is the ultimate intimacy with God, where we see God just out of love, uh -huh. not because we want something. Right. Because, because we love right. Him. Um, enjoy the company. I'm glad you brought that up, because what I call that is not seeking God's hand, but seeking his, or seeking God's face, but seeking his hand. Right. And of course, we, we know that there, there's all those prosperity uh, people, and they're, they're, they're up seeking God's hand, and not his face. Yeah. Uh, it only goes along with like people who like, who are in trouble. Like, God, if you get me out of this one, I swear I'll never do it again. Or, you know, but then throughout the day, you don't never converse with them. You don't never talk to them. Just like, you know, share your thoughts, share your emotions. Just converse. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Only when you really need something the most. Like, God, how am I going to pay this bill? But where were you two weeks ago when you had money in the bank? You weren't yeah. talking to me then. Yeah. You weren't thanking me for the money there. That's why every check I get, I thank God. And, you know, even when I don't have money, I thank God. Good. Good. Just, just like he said. All right. So uh, intimacy, okay. how does that convert to intimacy between me and this brother right here that I have? Or this sister right here that I have, and I don't even know. Okay? For, for, first, we need intimacy with God. I a totally love, agree. Love, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all, all thy soul, all, all thy mind, mind, and all thy strength. This is the first and, and greatest commandment. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How can you do the second unless you have the first? Absolutely true. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Get the first. Verifiable. Facts. Then do the second. Yeah. Uh, and then, and this gets us back uh, in that um, Hebrews. Remember uh, all that place where. Um, um, we boldly entered the throne of grace, and then every, everything that followed. Um, then after we've already, after we, after, after we, after we done that, then we go out and fellowship with the brethren, mm -hmm. or 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 do a service, which or which could mean evangelism. Mm -hmm. But know him first. How can how can how can you go out and share God if you don't know Him? People are gonna. That's hear. a fact. That's a really good fact. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know I know Him in whom I have believed. Yes. And am persuaded that He is able to keep that which I've committed unto Him. Yeah. Against Wednesday. 
Right. And then, so, so <laughs> Next this, Wednesday. So, so, yeah. so, so uh, the steps. Oops. <laughs> Outside, worship, praise, speak in tongues, holy of holies, listening, and then there's the most holy place. Now, why wasn't there any steps that led up to that? I don't know. Because the Lord didn't want the priest to reveal their nakedness. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I remember that. Okay. Um, now, the most holy place, uh, let me uh, d d describe... Uh, remember I said going into just loving God and, 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 and having God love you and that is the with no other motive of just love just love nothing else that is the ultimate intimacy with God when you just want to go in and just love him. Think, think, of, think of it as it, uh, uh, your, your little toddler. And when his eyes were all children. And um, you haven't even learned to speak English yet. All you can say is, you know, Daddy, Abba, or Abba, Father. And you're, you're at home and... You've been at home with Mama all day long, and then Daddy comes in, um, and then you immediately stop what you're doing. You get up, and then you run towards your father, and you just dive into his arms, and you're just ho you're you're holding him, hugging your uh, hugging him, and he's hugging you, and that. That is the moment of intimacy. Yes. Another moment, of, uh, an another thing that uh, crossed my mind. To, you have a friend. And you grew up with this friend your entire life. And have you ever had the experience of being so close to somebody that you can finish their sentences? Yeah, that's another form of intimacy. But I re I remember in when I was in heaven that as soon as I began to wonder about something, I couldn't even finish the question before he supplied the answer. Amen. There was nothing that I wanted that he withheld. Intimacy. Out of, out of love. When my spirit <laughs> and my light entered his light, I was transformed into love itself. My very being was love. We can we spiritually we can do the same thing as go to go to every day, go to our Father for no other motive than just to love him. Yes. Mm -hmm. those just moments, to love him. Those moments are, are supposed to be just as intimate as when you are locked right. in intimate love with the one that you cleave to. Yeah, and, I, you know, and, and this and this is what I'm talking. About. This and this is what I do every day. I, I spend that time, and I'm not watching the clock. And I know y'all have different schedules, so you, so you can't all spend that kind of time. I, I I recognize that. But there are times there are um, you know depending on your passion for God. 
you can you, you can you know examine your life and, and say you know what can I what am I what am I doing that I would rather be in the arms of my father and just carve out the card you know begin to carve that time out to give him something to work with. Everybody's schedule is di different, so it'll be different for everybody. But the end result is the same. What you give him, he will work with. If you give him with the heart of just pure love, he will. Well, the other thing is, you know, just because you think that you represent God and are uh, instructing us, it doesn't stop any one of us from getting up and walking out. Bye. You know, does it? No, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna. You can leave. I'm keeping on talking. Yeah. <laughs> but you know that doesn't. Yeah, and that doesn't those mean. Those other if you pastors leave, that, that I don't kind of think that. like that. What's that? Those other pastors that kind of think like that have this control problem going on inside. Well, I don't. You know. <laughs> leave me anytime you want. But when. We have relationships with our wives, our girlfriends, and stuff. We still kind of, even in spite of the intimacy that we try to develop, there's always that control problem that goes on. On your part? Well, on both parts, you know. Well, well remember, well, we're, we are still all in the flesh, but the more you practice something, the better you get at it, yes? Hey, hey, you, you read? No, no, absolutely you, not. You, no? No. Really? Only perfect practice makes perfect. If you're practicing the thing wrong, you're out to lunch. You start by knowing God. <laughs> you start by knowing His Word. That's what puts you right. All right. When you know His Word... Okay. That's your guidance. That you begin but you begin with knowing his word. Those then, that book is not exclusively his word. It's his written word. Okay. But it's still just a book. And you know, when you set it on the shelf, it's an inanimate object. Yeah, it is. Okay. And he has Coincidentally, are you which taking, down, no are you taking us down a, 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 another rabbit hole path? I don't know, but this intimacy thing has got to do with knowing the difference between living things and dead things. <laughs> In the intimacy yeah. with, with 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 God, there is only life. In life more abundantly. Okay. I don't know where you. But could, where, if you're a walking around dead person, you don't. You couldn't understand it if your life depended on it, and it does. I began with the assumption before you got here. Not only the assumption, but I know for a fact that every single person in here is saved and full of the Holy Ghost. Okay. And I and from that presumption. Well, not only presumption, but knowledge. Um, uh, I, I start with uh, Hebrews 6, and that, that's, that, that's the one that we began with. Uh, you know, about there, the babes in Christ were not beginning. Begin with um, the, the, the baptisms. On, remember? Yeah, remember that? we don't yeah. want to go yeah. through yeah. baptisms. Yeah, on, so. yeah so we're going to so jump straight in the meat. Yeah. But, you know, there's the problem with that knowing the difference between a live thing and a dead thing. Where are you? None of which is in the temple. True. So why are you bringing it up? Because we're, we're in the temple. In the intimacy 
fact, we know that if there was a live person walking that called himself a priest, God didn't like that. And they made sure that uh, they tied a rope around it. Spiritually, if you're in the Holy of Holies, this stuff doesn't even cross your mind. Your look, your, your, your focus is on God and, so. and anything that tries to get your mind away from God, you kick it out. Holding every thought. To the, the captivity of Christ. Captivity of Christ. And that's what that's why I, I bring up the picture of or the, the image of of what God is, light. light. And you're looking in spiritually in your mind, you're looking straight at light. When a thought that is yours enters your head. It comes between you and the light. That's kind of the and, way the uh, Hindu and, and, meditation operates, too. And so, and so, and so, you Satan know. Satan always so, has a counterfeit for everything that God does. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, that's one of the things that brought me over here, too. Okay, is it time? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to wrap it. But we did, we did get to the final point. Yes. Did, did, yeah. uh, everybody, 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 everybody recognize that the ultimate intimacy is going to God with just no other motive. Because I mean, no other motive. You've gone. You've already gone through the listening and hearing. The final, the final step is just loving God yeah. and, has, and and being loved by Him, and that is good enough. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is required. Right. Mm -hmm. And it is during that that has happened that a side benefit has occurred. And that is becoming ever more spiritually uh, sensitive to the movement of the Holy Ghost. Okay. Taking steps. But you don't. But you, but I don't go to get that. It's love. Because God is love, so I go to Him and just love. And anything in me that ain't love. Needs to die. Okay. That's your flesh. Yes. But why is it that you're letting all these dead things rule over you? What dead things? The government, the county, the state, the law. Uh, how many other things do you want me to name? Obey the laws of the land. Hey. Not if it's a dead person trying to rule over the living. We're not going. In, we're not going down. That and we're road. not going. We're, we're not going down that road. We're because we're, we're, we're finished with loving God, just for the sake of loving God. Uh huh. For the ultimate intimacy, and that's you know, and that that was my final you know main point that um, that I wanted to. So start sure from is. the beginning, and that's we're, we've arrived. <laughs> we've reached our destiny. Oh, yeah. Oh God. Okay. Um, yeah. Terry, do you want to end in prayer? Lord, we thank you that you have brought us together tonight, Lord. Father, I pray that we would take with us you, Lord God, Father, and 
in loving you throughout the rest of the week, Lord God. Father, I pray that our eyes will be set on you, Lord, that our hearts will be set on you, and that our minds and that we would just be transformed daily, Lord God, and under you and under your love and under your Holy Spirit, Lord. Father, I pray that you would help us all to come back Sunday, Lord God, and to just be in prayer and just be in your love always, Lord God, and to tell others about you, Lord, and to see souls saved, Lord. In your name, Jesus, I pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.